Are you looking for a good craftable sniper but you don't own any DLC? Well then you've come to the right place. Hell, even if you own all the DLC, this still should serve you well. What's going on YouTube? I'm Sizzity FPS, and today I'm going to be looking at the Defiance of Yasmin Sniper that you can get from the King's Fall Raid. As you can tell by the thumbnail and what I stated before, this sniper requires no DLC. It just takes a little bit of RNG and some rating. Oh, and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. So let's get into it. This sniper can drop in three separate encounters within the King's Fall Raid, which again is free to all players. Those encounters are War Priests, Daughters, and Orcs. If you want to just try your luck at getting a God Roll to drop at random, you could just target those three encounters three times a week. That's three times per character, which is actually nine total chances every week. And that's just if you're only trying to complete those three specific encounters. I personally would suggest going for the crafted version. You'd need five red borders in order to craft, and it would be best to go through the whole raid so that you can simultaneously collect Spoils of Conquest. You can then use your Spoils of Conquest to buy a guaranteed red border of your choosing once per week. Plus, if you're going for the crafted version, it would take a maximum of five weeks to get it done. After you've gotten the first sniper to drop, of course, I don't think you can buy red borders of weapons that haven't dropped for you yet. Plus, within that five weeks, you could potentially get the god roll to drop randomly and then no longer need to grind for it. So once that first one drops, it's a little like RNG protection. You know for a fact it'll take no more than five weeks, so at that point, RNG can only speed up the process. Now if we take a look at the possible perk combinations, we'll see that it can roll with the most coveted combination in snapshot and opening shot. But maybe with the recent sniper changes, you feel like you don't necessarily need snapshot anymore. Well, in that case, it can also get no distractions in opening shot or no distractions moving target. For PvE, it can roll with the likes of Warple Weapon or Firing Line. There's also a Herod version, which is basically just an adept version that you get from completing the weekly challenge in the master version of the raid. We can't craft adepts yet, but I find value in them for my PvE roles. I've gotten lucky with the Insidious and the Zolly's Bane adept drops being PvE god rolls for me. So that frees me up to focus on crafting PvP roles without having to worry about crafting a second one for PvE or wasting materials changing perks around. The origin trait on all King's Fall weapons is basically a free third perk which operates like overflow. The trait is called Runneth Over and it states that reloading near allies overflows the magazine. The more allies, the more it overflows. So the role that I ended up crafting is snapshot opening shot because I'm basic with fluted barrel and accurized rounds with a range masterwork. It took a while for me to get back into sniping because I've been a dirty fusion main for the majority of 2022 now. I used to only use Eye of Soul, but since I've warmed up to it, I've gotta say the sniper feels great. It's super snappy with that enhanced snapshot and super sticky with enhanced opening shot. Now, if you're like me and you prefer using crafted weapons over normal weapons, then this is a good sniper for your kinetic slot because now you can open up that energy slot for the likes of the Drain or the Chaos Mini Tool whatever energy weapon you'd like to run. Or you can go the other way around and use Beloved in your energy slot and use whatever kinetic you want. This sniper opens up those options for you. And that's essentially all I've got to say about this sniper today, guys. Definitely go get it. I mean, it's free, it's right there. Like I said, it takes a little bit of RG, a little bit of rating, but it's basically a free S tier sniper. If you made it this far, I truly appreciate you. Please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. Thanks for watching. Peace.